Hey, mate, can I just give you a bottle of water for later on? Oh, thank no you very much, mate. Yeah. Oh, hey, Bob, God bless you, man. Excuse me. Oh, hey, you're right, mate. Yeah, no, Out of the yeah. side, off the path. Yeah. Side. You've got some good preaching in the street, you. Yeah. Stand here and talk to us. If you want to preach, yeah? Yeah. don't show. Talk. Yeah. If you want to preach in the street, you've got some gut at all that time. Yeah. I've heard you say some really strange stuff up there. Yeah. And I'm trying to make head or tail of why you've said it. Well, Because it doesn't really make much sense to me. So well, if you don't mind, can yeah. I ask you? Yeah. You've been preaching and shouting for an hour. I know you're very angry and adrenaline fueled, like I get when I'm angry. I'm not. But I would like to talk. I would like you to alleviate some of my concerns. Yeah. I heard you say something about rape. Yeah, so what I was saying is that, um, that rape is a sin, it's wrong. Rape is a sin? Yeah, and I said that um, basically that we all know that rape's wrong and we would want a rapist to be punished. So I was, what you're saying is it's wrong to get a kid aborted if it turns pregnant? Well, all I'm saying is this, is that we should never punish the child for the crime of the father. That's what I would say. That the child should never have to suffer for the crimes of so the father. So these are all mistaken what you said, basically. The way, the way you put it in yeah. the street before. Yeah, it's, it, it didn't often, sound the way you've just put it to me. Yeah, there. oftentimes I do get mistaken. That's what I'm saying. Anger and adrenaline turn situations violent. Oh no, I wasn't angry. I was passionate, but I wasn't passionate. angry. Yeah. You want yeah. to get your words right, because what you yeah. said in and the street by the way, up actually, there, anger is fucking bang out of water, right, mate. Right, it really was. Righteous anger isn't wrong. It's, 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 sometimes it's right to be I'm angry, I think. I'm like, it's right to be angry at rape, right? Like, you know, if someone was raped, you'd be angry. So, so what are these all shouting home, home, homophobic scum for? What, what are they all chanting at that at you for? Because well, I heard you saying something about that it's, it's, probably it's that wrong for fucking gays to get married or something like that. No, I just said that, um, like, I quoted 1 Corinthians 6, 9, which says that, you know, don't be deceived. Did, did it quote the Bible that it was just talking oh, yeah, about? Right, right. Yes, yeah, so I, I guess I just quoted the Bible first. That's what, I'm not, I'm so, quoting so what I heard you say was gay marriage is wrong? That, is that what you believe? Homosexuality, the Bible says, is, is a sin. No, a sin. No, there's nothing oh, in, in, in I just, I, I the Bible. Bible. You're a million, million there's fucking nothing, mile out of water there, man. Listen, I've, 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 I've had a million questions answered, like I can say you know, There's nothing written in the Gospel. You've got some fucking balls here, you've got all these fuckers on your case now. There's nothing written in the Gospel what, yeah. about homophobia, yeah. though, mate. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I was just saying that 1 Corinthians 6 9 says, Don't be deceived, homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. And in Romans chapter 1, it actually calls it a shameful act. Um, and not just in the Old Testament, it's actually in the New. That's all I was saying. Yeah. What's your name? James. James, God bless you, James. God bless you. How you mate? You're right there. I think it's normal. Hi, brother, what's the copy? Do I need Yeah, I'm on, yeah. Uh, Are you right, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, exposing it, it's yeah. like, do you know what I mean? That, 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 that dark, darkness comes and tries to yeah. conquer the light. Yeah. But Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Yeah, it comes yeah, to me. Yeah, Jesus. Oh, yes, mate. Class, right. yeah, thanks. Yeah, well. thanks, thanks, Thank you. Yes. Thank you for, um, Amen. thank you for, um, thank you for supporting us in the crowd. Yeah, man, amen. Anyone else chip with me and Jesus? Oh, well, you've got a church provider. <laughs> 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 right. so, yeah. so you live in Manchester now, Sonny? Yeah, I live in Manchester okay. and um, it's, a real, it's a real blessing, like, you know, I've got them at a good church and I'm thankful for it. I've got a pastor that really supports me open air. And uh, I've got a church that really support us. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I had you guys because didn't have anyone else to do it. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> this is what we're talking about, me and Thomas. We just thought it was a little bit like um, why personally, like uh, from yeah. you know, Jesus says, go out too, as you know. And, uh, and That's, yeah. Contact with well, I had Curtis you know, Brown, you know, Curtis Brown. Right, yeah. He yeah, was yeah, meant yeah, to, yeah, but yeah. he's working. Right, so I thought, okay, you know what, yeah, I'm yeah. just going to go out. And I, and I had a feeling uh, that the Lord would provide some Christians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. watch the bus there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. 
I've, I'm a your mother now. <laughs> so lads, um, before you go, what did you think? What were you thinking? What was going on in your mind? Why were you stopping? Why were you listening? You know, this is important. Like, how old are you guys? 15. 15. You look a bit older than 15, but I didn't actually realize you were 15. What are you know what, guys? This life is so short. And um, one day, one day we're all going to die. We're going to stand in front of God. And you, and you know, you know, guys, you know that you can die at any time, can't you? Yeah. Do you know any lads that have died at the age of 15? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So death can come at any time. And that's why there's such an urgency to turn to God today, to turn to Christ. You can actually have your sins forgiven because he died for you on the cross. You can know him. You can be right with God. And I'll just, I'll just pray for you. I know sometimes it's a bit foolish and you talk about these things and you know your friends around. And you know what? You can laugh about it now. But just tonight, when you're in bed, just think about your soul because it, it, it is coming. That judgment day is coming. And I'm, 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 that's all I'm asking you to do. Just think, actually, wait a minute. If what that guy is saying is true, and, and that, if the Bible does indeed say that, then that changes everything about me, and it does. And you know what? I got saved when I was 20. I was I was only five years older than you. But I know people that have been saved at 15, saved at 10. And when I say saved there, I mean they've become a Christian. Like they've really been changed. They're not like, they're not living their own life of sin. They're now living a life that honor Christ. You know, and I, I would just, I would just plead with you all today. You know, I love you guys so much and I really want you to know, know Christ. Hi boys, Jack Clark. That's beautiful. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah, you got brother. Guys, yeah. I got you. Did you get a leaflet? Yeah. We'll read it. Turn. Yeah. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you, man. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Light conquers darkness. Yeah, man. So, yeah, these humans, they're looking for answers, they're looking for truth in a world that's 